All right, farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to have a look at poplars. Now this has been in the game for quite a while. I think it's as far back as 17. It was a crop that you could use. So we're going to have a look at that. So first up, what's going to be like if you're using the crop calendar? So if we go into there, you can see there, third one from the bottom, you can plant in March and all the way to August, and you can harvest all year long. Yeah all year harvestable ability now if you haven't got the harvest calendar turned on it's going to take and make sure you sat down for this it's going to take 16 months you heard that correct 16 months that is a ridiculous amount of time to be fair compared with all the other ones you know the longest ones what like eight nine months whatever 16 months that's ages anyway if you've got it turned on then that's when we're going to be planting. So I'm here in April. So I've got this field here. It's got the full prep done on it. Now, with the poplars, you can plant them anywhere that you own the land. So you don't necessarily need a field to plant them in. But I'm going for the field anyway for a reason that we'll get onto in a little bit. So we've done the full prep on the field. We've mulched, we've ploughed, fertilised, limed, fertilised again cultivated and then we've got all the stones off so what you need to do next is to then get yourself a tractor with the planter on it right so what's your options when it comes to planting your poplars well really there is only one so if we go into the shop and then into tools and forestry equipment you're going to want to get yourself the Damcon PL75 tree planter. Now, if you remember the video that we did on all the other trees, this is the one that we used. You also need this for the poplars. Then, where seed is concerned, you don't get seed as such. You need to go into the shop menu and to pallets, because you're going to get yourself a pallet of poplars there. 280 to buy, and you get 2,000 in that pallet. So that's what you're going to need to get. So that's what we've got here. Now, this is where it comes to using a field rather than planting them anywhere because how they get planted affects how easy it is to harvest them at the end. So if we do LB and B to lower it and then LB and X to turn it on, it's going to plant in two little rows like that. Now, right now, I'm going to hire a worker. I'm going to hire a worker for a simple reason that they're going to get them bang on in the field on where they need to be. They're going to have the right space and everything. So that's going to make your job harvesting them at the end a load easier. So what I'm going to do, we'll fast forward this bit, we'll get the whole field done and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the whole field planted. Now, if we jump out there, you can see that because the worker has done it, they're nicely spaced and all in a row. Well, apart from that, it's got a little bit offline, but as you can tell, it's all nicely spaced out. So that's going to give you a big hand when it comes to harvesting. Now, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner on the field info screen, it says it needs rolling the field. Now, when I tested this before, when you rolled over the field, obviously the saplings stayed where they are and you rolled over the field like you normally would do with a crop. So it's entirely up to you. These poplars you can plant anywhere, so I'm not sure if that really makes that much of a difference to it. The only other thing that may make a difference, and we'll probably have a look at it in another video, is weeds. Now I've currently got them turned off because I don't particularly like them. So whether they have an effect or not, that should be something we'll test out in another video but so far we're now all done so what i'm going to do is fast forward and we'll see a bit of growth right so we're here in august as you can see in the bottom right hand corner you've got growth ready to harvest so what i'm going to do i'm going to jump in a harvester and we're going to get cracking Right, so when it comes to harvesting your poplars, there's two options. So this is the first one. If we go into the shop menu, you can get yourself a forage harvester. So any of the forage harvesters is going to work. I've gone for this Crone Big X 1180 for a specific reason. If we go into the 
tool section and then into headers forage harvester headers you're going to want to get this one the new holland 130 fb so this is the only one that's going to do poplars at the moment so we've got that and then we've also got ourselves the crone trailer because this is the one that hooks up to the back of that forage harvester so that's why i've gone for this specific one obviously if you've gone for a different harvester that doesn't hook up to a trailer you can always pull one alongside with your tractor but that's why i've gone for this specific option so once we're here first thing you need to do is lb and down you're going to put the pipe out so it shoots all the poplar wood chips into the back you're then going to want to turn on the harvester and that's going to lower it down and then away you go now this is where it comes in handy having the worker plant them for you because you've got nice rows a nice little gap in between so you're not going to get any crop damage if you have got that turn on so that's what i said earlier on about using your worker pays off when you come to harvesting so what i'm going to do i'm going to get half this field harvested and i'll show you the other option Right, so what's your second option? We'll scrub doing half the field because that's taking ages. It's only running at five mile an hour. So we'll get this option on the go. And it is baling them. You can bale poplars into wood chip bales. Now, if we go into the shop menu again and then down to balers, we'll scroll along. We'll come to this one here, the Anderson Bio Baler WB55. Now, you can use this to do your wood chip bales. Now also, we've got this here, the Anderson Bumper. So, depending on how you want to do it, you want to get both of these. And I'll show you what I mean. So first off, what you can do is RB and right stick up and down. We'll then put the baler out to the left or the other side once you've turned around out to the right. So you can offset whilst you're baling. So if we put it out to the left like so, we'll then do LB and B to lower it. And LB and X to turn it on. There's also another little thing there at the front of the baler. If you can see, we'll zoom in a little. We'll do LB and up and down on the right stick. Lifts a little flap up. Like so. So we'll lift that off. And then we'll get cracking. So all you need to do is once you've got it lowered and running. Drive it in. Like so. There we are bailing the poplars now obviously this can be a little bit fiddly with it offset so what we'll do we'll back off we do rb and right stick like that we'll straighten it all off as best we can so then if we spin it around because we've got that bumper attached to the front that's going to push all the crop down so we don't damage it let's get lined up better there we are so we'll turn it on and lower it down again so we'll just drive over the crop and it pushes it out of the way and when it comes to the front of the baler it then pops back up and ready to go so this is going to be an easier option if you're using it with the baler now you can have it offset if you really want to obviously that gets a bit fiddly so what I'll do I'll get a few bales done and I'll see you back here in a bit. Right, there we are. Two wood chip bales done. Obviously, there's a lot left in the field to get harvested off, but it takes forever. I tell you, this is not a quick crop to be getting off the field. So, as with the wood chips, you're going to want to sell them. Because that's the only thing you can do with wood chips. They don't go into any animals or into a production chain. It's just straight up selling. So, if we load these off when you're ready tractor like so if we go into the shop menu we'll go up to the prices and we'll see wood chips there so we've got the biomass heating plant goldcrest valley johnson's farmers market south valley biomass energy now obviously the goldcrest valley they're given the best price for wood chips but they don't take bales so you'll be able to use that if you've got the loose wood chips with your forage harvester but also you're going to need to rent a train so check out my other video on that and how to do it 
but for now we're going to use the biomass heating plant because on Elm Creek there isn't one and I've placed one right next door so just for easiness for the video that's what we're going to go with so we'll just pull up here into the onload point like so there we are onload bales drop them out unload bales here and there you are so we now sold them off to two bales 543 now obviously you're not going to be made a millionaire overnight with poplar they are a long term project and you don't get a lot of money for them but and there is a big but these are like sugarcane now what I mean like sugarcane is once you've planted them they'll regrow it says harvested now if you fast forward two months you'll then get the same saplings out the ground as when we first planted them so once you've done all the hard work and planting them in the first place you can just then carry on harvesting to your heart's content every 16 months so that's what I mean it's it's one of those things it's plant once harvest a lot so obviously you depend on what you want to do so that is the poplars drop it in the comments below if you are going to do them obviously they are a labor intensive crop for you and we'll see what comes out if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one